Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'll explain you how to install and set up MongoDB plugin on IntelliJ IDEA ID. So I guess you have already downloaded and installed MongoDB on your operating system and have configured the environment variables for MongoDB so that you can run MongoDB using command prompt. So after that, what we need to do is go to Google and type uh, download IntelliJ IDEA. Go to the first link and you need to click on this download button but I have already downloaded it so I'm not going to do it again so once you download it just install it it will take some time so have some patience Okay, so it's about to complete now. And there we go. Okay. So it's done now. So what we'll do is we'll just open it. Okay, I do not have a previous version. Okay. And no, I want to try for free. Okay, then accept. And then skip all and set defaults. So from here, what you need to do is click on create new project. And then click on empty project click on next here give any project name I'm giving it as mongo test then finish uh, okay so the project is created now now what I need to do is I need to uh, install the plugin like mongo server for this project so that I can write my commands so for that we need to uh, this with this we don't need to do anything so just click on cancel and go to file go to settings then where where yeah plugins here type mongo it won't come here so you need to type on browse repositories here see it has come here so click on install Once it is installed, it may ask you to restart IntelliJ IDEA so that your changes will reflect the Mongo server will come. Sorry, the Mongo Explorer will start coming. See, so click on restart, then apply, OK, then restart. It is loading our project so what we need to do is we that mongo explorer thing you cannot see directly you need to search it so click on search button mongo okay it has come so just click on this okay it has come now but I cannot see the option for mongo shell where I need to write the command so for this what I need to do is I need to do the configuration basic configuration for this it is telling you to click on this option so click on it 
here go to other settings then mongo servers uh, see here it is telling you to write the path to mongo executable that means it is asking you the path of mongo.exe so I'll click here I'll go to C drive and then, then I'll go to program files and mongodb server 3.2 bin uh, whoever has not watched the previous tutorial of like how to install mongo they can go there and then they'll come to know how these folders have come here so okay here we need to select mongo.exe then click on ok if you want to check whether the path is correct or not just click on test see it has given the signal that it is correct so now what we need to do is we need to add some server so click on this plus button and give some name any name you can give okay I'm giving local host local host and everything you just leave as it is and click on ok then apply ok so see here local host has started coming so if you will right click on it it will tell you connect to this server see I've connected but is anything coming under this no right nothing so it means before you know opening your mongo and writing your commands what you need to do is you need to run your mongo daemon that is mongo d executable file for that we need to go to command prompt and run mongo d guys see here i'm directly running mongo d i'm not going to that particular path and then running it because that path i have already set in environment variables so i can directly write mongo d and i can hit enter so it will start running but if you have not set your path in environment variables you need to go to that particular location till bin then you can run mongod but here i'm running because i have set the path so um, mongo d mongo d see here it is indicating you that it has started so what i'll do is i'll just connect to the server okay it has started coming so what I'll do now is this symbol it is for shell mongo shell if you click on it you'll get a space where you can write your commands so I'll just click on it why it's not coming okay you can even hit on terminal if you'll hit on terminal the same thing will open see so here we can you know write our command so what we what you need to do here is you need to you know uh, mongod you have already run so now what you need to do is you need to run mongo okay so now you can write your commands whatever you want to suppose you want to see the you know uh, default databases so you don't need to write show databases as you write in SQL or MySQL you can simply type DB see it is giving you the default database whatever is there so guys this is how you can set your you know um, Mongo Explorer plugin into your IntelliJ idea and you can run all the commands here whatever command you want to write uh, if you want to create data I mean insert data or update or delete or drop a data anything whatever you want to do you can do from this Mongo shell so see you in the next tutorial bye